hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel journey with vijay kumar srivastava today i am going to present the title bio pesticides before presentation i would like to introduce myself i am vijay kumar srivastava i have done ms agriculture with specialized in agronomy from gb pant university of agriculture and technology pant nagar in 1996 so let's proceed to the presentation bio pesticides what are bio pesticides bio pesticides are an important group of pesticides that can reduce pesticide risks and these are derived from animals plants and microorganisms such as bacteria viruses and fungi the advantage of bio pesticides are like they are inherently less harmful than chemical pesticides they in general have a narrow target range and a very specific mode of action these bio pesticides are often effective in small quantities and also they decompose quickly and do not have problematic residues and they are safer to humans and the environment than conventional pesticides so these are the pesticides which are derived from the plants animal microorganism and their contents are used to control the pests in current era in agriculture cultivation the intensive use of pesticide is a cause of serious concern the problem is especially serious because of the development of resistance to pesticide in important pest and the presence of pesticide residue in agriculture and dairy products in india the most serious problem of resistance is witnessed in cotton for which american bollworm is a serious pest the bollworm has developed resistance to almost all pesticides in a number of regions and is serious problems in many states growing pesticide resistance has meant that a large proportion of agricultural production is lost to pests pesticide resistance has mainly been caused by excessive and indiscriminate use of pesticides pesticides of a spurious quality which are commonly sold in small towns and villages have also contributed to resistance in many areas excessive use of chemical pesticide in agriculture is a serious cause of concern it is therefore important that alternative environmental friendly methods of plant protection are adopted such as integrated pest management ipm techniques including the use of bio pesticides about 30% of the yield in agriculture is lost because of the combined effects of biotic and abiotic stresses with pathogenic fungi alone responsible for a reduction of about 12% of losses control of fungal pathogen is based on the use of ergonomic practices and pesticides successful and consistent results have been achieved with some biocontrol agents such as agrobacterium and bacillus whose mechanism of biocontrol are largely understood however there are some limitations in the practical use of bacterial agents often arose from the production of toxic substances and formulations with a short shelf life the application of fungal biocontrol agents have also been delayed because of difficulties in obtaining consistent results in biocontrol and the relatively poor understanding of the plant microbe and microbe microbe interactions involved in the antagonistic processes while diverse microbes may contribute to the biological control of plant pathogens most research and development efforts have focused on isolating three genera of bacillus trichoderma and pseudomonas bio pesticides is a broad term which includes bio insecticides bio fungicides bio herbicides and bio nematicides microorganisms belonging to different groups like bacteria fungi and viruses are used as bio pesticides now we will study about bacterial pesticides bacteria belonging to genus bacillus are potent against many insect pests they suppress pests by producing a toxin specific to the pest causing a disease preventing establishment of other microorganisms through competition or other mode of action the different bacterial strains are used like bacillus thuringiensis bacillus populi and bacillus aspericus an example of a bacterial pesticide is bacillus thuringiensis or known as bt bacillus thuringiensis is a naturally occurring soil bacteria 
that is toxic to the larva of several species of insects but not toxic to non target organisms it is primarily a pathogen of lepidopterous pests that are some of the most damaging these include american bollworm in cotton crop and stem borer in rice crop bacillus thuringiensis can be applied to plant foliage or incorporated into the genetic material of crops bacillus thuringiensis is discovered is toxic to the caterpillars larva of moths and butterflies several strains of bt have been developed and now strains are available that control fly larva in case of bt cotton it has the properties of insecticidal control bacillus thuringiensis is a soil borne bacterium which is toxic to insect pest and safe to higher animals it is widely used as a bacterial insecticide where the cry genes from the bacteria determine the action against pests in india the first approval to bt cotton were given to three hybrids released by myco monsanto mmb biotech the joint ventures between myco and monsanto in 2002 these hybrids contained the bt gene cry1 ac owned by the us farm monsanto which licensed the gene to mmb in india in 2006 the regulator genetic engineering approval committee gec also approved three other gene constructs mmb bolgar 2 which stx cry1 ac and cry2 ab genes a modified cry1 ac gene developed by iit kharagpur in collaboration with jk seeds and a fusion gene cry1 ac and cry1 ab gene sourced by nath seeds from the chinese academy of agriculture sciences here we have shown the picture which represents the transformation of bt to the cotton plants the bacteria dna are extracted it and it is isolated after cloning and designing genes it is transformed to the plants through cells and tissue culture and this plants contains the bacillus thuringiensis gene to its cytoplasm and genetic content which works against the american bollworm pest of cotton now to understand how bt works and what is the mode of action of bacillus thuringiensis bacteria in case of bt cotton the bt spores and bt crystalline toxin substances are incorporated to cotton plants and when the caterpillar or bollworms is feeding to the cotton crop there are bt spores and bt crystalline toxins are entered to the larva body within minutes the toxin binds to a specific receptors in the gut wall of the larva and caterpillars stops feeding within hours the gut wall of larva breaks down which allows the spores and normal gut bacteria to enter the body cavity of larva and the toxic substances are dissolved in larva body in 1 to 2 days the caterpillar dies from septicemia as spores and gut bacteria proliferate in its blood and cause toxic substances because of which the larva gets dead so this is the mechanism by which we are controlling the bollworms species which feeds the bt cotton the second biopesticide type is cotton herbicidal where the bt gene is used this is called the roundup ready flex rrf cotton rrf contains cp4 epsps gene which is derived from soil bacterium agrobacterium trimphasians which produces modified protein that allow the plant to tolerate application of roundup glyphosate herbicide thus while farmers cannot spray glyphosate in normal crop is the chemical cannot distinguish between weeds and the crop itself and it will kill the whole plantation while in case of rrf cotton they can spray the glyphosate herbicide is rrf contains gene which is having resistant to roundup glyphosate so after a spray the weeds will be killed and the cotton plants which is introduced the bt gene agrobacterium trimphasians it will be unaffected and it will survive it will significantly help farmers for weed control and save times this technology is still in trial and not approved by the government and under process 
नाउ टू स्टडी अबाउट फंगल पेस्टिसाइड्स फंजाई आर ए डाइवर्स ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड कैन बी फाउंड इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी इन्वायरमेंट ऑन अर्थ सम स्पेसीज हैव अ प्रूव ऑन यूजफुल एज माइक्रोवियल बायो पेस्टिसाइड्स दे हैव द एबिलिटी टू अटैक एंड पैरासिटाइज प्लांट पैथोजेंस अंडर सर्टन इन्वायरमेंटल कंडीशंस टू ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन कमर्शियल फंगल बायो पेस्टिसाइड्स आर ट्राइकोडर्मा स्पेसीज एंड विवेरिया बेसियाना Trichoderma have the ability to readily colonize plant roots without harming the plant and Viveria vesiana is a fungus that acts as a parasite on many insect species about which we will discuss Now to study the fungal pesticide Trichoderma species the most studied fungal biocontrol agents are Trichoderma species and some isolates effective as biofungicides in certain culture conditions have been recently introduced in commercial agriculture concurrently fundamental discoveries concerning the mechanism of action of these fungi have been made a studies on the mechanism of biocontrol had indicated that trichoderma and other mycoparasites have developed a vast array of molecular tools to support their parasitic behavior it is believed that trichoderma produces different type of lytic enzymes that act on the cell wall of fungi and kill them genes encoding for cell wall degrading enzymes such as chitinolytic gluconolytic and proteolytic enzymes have been isolated and used to improve biocontrol capabilities of trichoderma strains two species of trichoderma trichoderma herzianum and trichoderma viridi are commonly used as biocontrol agent Their spectrum of control includes fungal pathogens like Armillaria, Pythium, Rhizoctonia, Verticillium, Asclerotium, and Botrytis, etc. Second type of fungal pesticides are Viveria vesiana. Viveria is a naturally occurring fungus in soil throughout the world and has been researched for control of soil-borne insects. Many soil insects, however, may have a natural tolerance to this pathogen, which is not exhibited in many foliar pests. Therefore, commercial development of this fungus for biological control has primarily been targeted against foliar feeding pests. Many strains of Viveria vesiana are used as biopesticides. It is active against adults and larvae of many kinds of insects, eggs of lepidopteran pests, such as moths. The spectrum also includes mole cricket, chiggers, white grubs, fire ants, ants, flea beetle, boll weevil, white flies, plant bug, grasshoppers, thrips, aphids, mites, and many others. So these are the fungal pesticides which are used as a bio pesticide to control the insects and diseases. Now to study viral bio pesticides. which are having the property of insecticidal in this category vecoloviruses are used vecoloviruses is a microbial pesticide from a family of naturally occurring viruses known to infect only insects they are so specific in their action that they infect and kill only one or a few species of caterpillars the viral dna replicates in the nuclei of the host cells and then spreads throughout the body of the larva turning it into a virus factory the infected insect stops feeding within a few days dies and disintegrate the majority of vecoloviruses used as biological control agents are in the genus nucleopolyhedrovirus these viruses are excellent candidates for species specific narrow spectrum insecticidal applications It is widely acknowledged that vecoloviruses can be as effective as chemical pesticides in controlling a specific insect pest. However, the expense of treating a hectare of land with vecoloviruses product invariably cost more than an equally efficacious chemical treatment. This difference in price is due to primarily to the labor intensive nature of vecolovirus production. So, these vecoloviruses are working as a bio pesticides against a specific insect pests and this is costly compared to chemical treatment because of its nature of production and complexity 
वेकुलो वायरसेस आर पैथोजेंस दैट अटैक इंसेक्ट्स एंड अदर आर्थोपोड्स लाइक सम ह्यूमन वायरसेस दे आर यूजली एक्सट्रीमली स्मॉल लेस देन ए थाउजेंड ऑफ ए मिलीमीटर अक्रॉस एंड आर कंपोज प्राइमरली ऑफ डबल स्टैंडर्ड डी एन ए दैट कोड्स फॉर जीन्स नीडेड फॉर वायरस स्टेब्लिशमेंट एंड रिप्रोडक्शन बिकॉज दिस जेनेटिक मेटेरियल इज इजली डिस्ट्रॉयड बाई एक्सपोजर टू सन लाइट और बाई कंडीशन इन द होस्ट गट एन इन्फेक्टिव वेकुलर वायरस पार्टिकल वेरियॉन इज प्रोटेक्टेड बाई प्रोटीन कोट विच इज कॉल्ड पोलीहेड्रॉन मोस्ट इंसेक्ट वेकुलर वायरसेस मस्ट बी इटन बाई द होस्ट टू प्रोड्यूस एन इन्फेक्शन दैट इज टिपिकली फेटल टू द इंसेक्ट बिकॉज द वायरसेस मल्टीप्लाइड इन द बॉडी एंड लेटर द किल द इंसेक्ट सो दिस प्रजेंटेशन वॉज ऑल अबाउट बायोपेस्टिसाइड्स ना माई प्रजेंटेशन इन सीयर थैंक यू वेरी मच आई हैव गिवन एयर माई यूट्यूब चैनल डिटेल्स जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव हैविंग रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज विजिट द चैनल सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्रोवाइड योर काइंड एंड वेलेबल फीडबैक थैंक यू